All right, today is February 8th, 2018, and this is my radiation alert inspector. And uh, this is a detecting radiation. In the bucket was rock phosphate. It ended up getting a leak in the roof, and it filled up with water last year. So what I did is I moved it, and it dried, and you could see it turned into all those crystals. Now in that bucket, it was rock phosphate. Now rock phosphate is radioactive because it it's a radioactive material that has uranium and radium because it can, it's a normal constituent of the Earth's crust. Now this natural occurring radium and uranium is in rock phosphate, which comes from a rock or a mineral called apatite and this is I want to get this straight on the radiation of this rock phosphate and it and it actually uh, kind of ties into this Tamiflu no unbelievably this is what they use in fertilizers they actually use it as a nutritional supplement in some animals. So we kind of get the point. It's definitely radioactive. Alright, I guess we could stop at 300 to prove a point. This is a 30 second average, so it can go pretty high. Well, now that we proved that rock phosphate is radioactive, let's delve into this Tamiflu, which I'm kind of suspicious that maybe possibly this Tamiflu that we're using as a uh, medicine, a pharmaceutical, might be giving us radiation brain. So there you go. Let's continue. February 9th, 2018. This video is called Is Tamiflu Oseltamivir Phosphate Causing Radiation Brain? And this is a far-fetched theory, but I kind of thought of this when I came across the news the other day. First of all, I want to state that I'm not a no, uh, doctor or have no medical background, and I have my degree in plant sciences, so that's where um, I have a little knowledge about the fertilizers and the phosphates they're using that are radioactive, and you can see that with that video I just played. And this is where I am uh, got my uh, idea, and I could be totally wrong. you got to give some comments and it's hard to find out this information but basically I'm trying to figure out if this Tamiflu is radioactive now uh, Ocel Temavir it's sold under the brand name Tamiflu it's an antiviral medication it's uh, used to treat influenza A and B and it became really popular during the swine flu years ago now here's some information. It's stating that it's an oral antiviral drug approved for acute, uncomplicated influenza in patients two weeks of age and older whose flu symptoms have not lasted more than two days. This is interesting. This product is approved to treat type A and B influenza. However, the majority of patients included in the studies were affected with type A, which is the most common. Now... 
type B is coming around the corner, I think. So who knows if this stuff is uh, going to be good. And actually, some reports are saying that people that took Tamiflu shed more flu virus than someone that doesn't. And actually, some studies actually say that it might not even work at all. Now, the common side effects are vomiting, diarrhea, headache, and trouble sleeping. Other side effects might include psychiatric symptoms and seizures. Now, the reason why I came across this and I'm trying to put two and two together is that it was on the news about this six-year-old girl who was hallucinating was trying to jump out the window after taking the Tamiflu. And the reason why I'm saying about this radiation and hallucinations, this is a uh, someone who was getting uh, treatment on a tumor in the brain that after they received radiation treatments, they started hallucinating. So there's some, maybe there's some kind of connection there between uh, the radiation on the brain and hallucinations, um, spontaneous uh, memory recalls. I'm just throwing that in there. The epidemiological studies performed in Japan, the United States, and the United Kingdom indicate that Tamiflu may cause psychiatric symptoms. However, the underlying mechanism has not been elucidated, which uh, means that they don't know why it's happening. And now, this is something I came across with the radioactivity. In, um, this is page 13. This is coming out of the European Medicine Agency. Now, there's only two things that I've came across about radioactivity of this Tamiflu. And... Now, I don't know if they're adding something or if it actually is radioactive. This is what I'm trying to figure out. This study, it says total recovery of radioactivity in urine was approximately 74% over a seven-day period after a single oral dose of 75 milligrams of C-labeled oseltamivir phosphate. About 17% was recovered in feces. After intravenous administration of the this carboxylate. Now this is what carboxylate is what it actually ends up turning into the phosphate. It says it's the active metabolite. Over one hour of recovery of total rate radioactivity in urine was ninety seven percent. Now It says active metabolite was the major radioactive component found in plasma with a small contribution of unchanged prodrug. Now, is this admitting that the stuff is radioactive? It's even showing the total radioactivity over here. This is so hard to understand whether or not this is radioactive. I have a feeling they're making it out of the phosphate and it's actually radioactive uh, medicine is what the, is in that flu, um, the flu medicine that they're giving. Now here's where it's coming out of the, the percentage of excreted feces. Total radioactivity. Now here is the study where After the swine flu came out, there was a big use of the Tamiflu because of this pandemic influenza in 2009. Now, they talk about a radio gland. It's a radioactive biochemical substance. In particular, a Lee gland that is radio labeled. It's used for diagnosis or for research-oriented study of the receptor systems of the body. In neuroimaging application, the radiola gland is injected into the pertinent tissue or infused into the bloodstream. Now, they talk about that. Now, I don't think that what they're talking about, the radioactivity, is that radiogand. Now, this is the only research study that I found that is very significant and I think this is 
it's confusing, but I have a feeling this is this is the key to whether it's radioactive or not. Here is chapter one on Oseltamivir. That's a hard one to say. Now here's research reports. It provides new insight into the influenza therapy. Now, according to the authors of recent research in Chiba, Japan, Tamiflu is an orally active anti-influenza drug, which is hydrolyzed to its metabolite, this guy, inhibiting the influenza virus with potent activity. The abnormal behavior of young influenza patients associated with the use of Tamiflu has developed to a social problem in countries where Tamiflu is often prescribed. Now, it is important to determine the amount of the oseltamivir in the brain and to elucidate the relationship between its presence and the neuropsychiatric side effects. The aim of the study was to determine the radioactivity in the infant, juvenile, and adult rat brains after injection of oseltamivir into the rats using PET or audio radiography. After injection of this radioligand, the highest radioactivity was found in the infant brain and radioactivity level decreased with age. Ex vivo audio radiography on the infant brain displayed a relatively higher radioactivity in the cerebellum than in the cerebrum. Pre-treatment with cyclosporum A, an inhibitor of this glycoprotein, increased the brain radioactivity. The research concluded the results give helpful insights into elucidating why neuropsychiatric side effects of Tamiflu occur in young patients. Now, Hitori and colleagues published their study in this Neuroscience Letters, The Determination of Radioactivity in Infant, Juvenile, and Adult Rat Brains After Injection of Anti-Influenza Drug, Oseltamivir, using the PET scan and the audio radiography. Now, doesn't this kind of tell you that it's radioactive? This is almost the only thing that actually I came across to study that kind of, like I said, I'm not no doctor or anything, but what do you think this means? To me, it kind of seems they're trying to find the radioactivity. It's to determine the amount of Tamiflu in the brain The aim of the study was to determine the radioactivity of the infant. I think I'm right on this. Now, radioactive materials like uranium and radium are normal constituents of the Earth's crust. The radioactivity of phosphate rock is enhanced with geological processes. Exposure of workers and the public to radiation from phosphate rock and fertilizer is therefore not unlikely So it's likely that there is exposure from this phosphate rock. Now phosphate, a phosphate is an inorganic chemical and a salt forming anion of phosphoric acid. Phosphorus 32 is a radioactive isotope of phosphorus. The nucleus of phosphorus-32 contains 15 protons, 17 neutrons, one more neutron than the more common isotope of phosphorus, phosphorus-31. Now, phosphorus-32 only exists in small quantities. It has a short life of 14 days and decays rapidly. Now, it says phosphorus is found in many organic molecules, and so phosphorus-32 has many applications in medicine, biochemistry, molecular biology, where it could be used to trace these molecules and radioactively label DNA, phosphorus-32. Now it's going to decay 
into sulfur. That's what it's going to uh, decay into. Now, Tamiflu remains the primary recommended antiviral treatment. So much that they're in a short supply right now. Now, elimination, it's absorbed primarily. More than 90% is eliminated by this conversion to this metabolite, carboxylate. Now, plasma concentrations declined with the half-life of one to three hours in most subjects of the oral administration. It says it's, this stuff is not further metabolized and is eliminated unchanged in the urine. There is also excretion. They say it's eliminated entirely, more than 99%, from renal excretion. So I just think it's bizarre. I think that this Tamiflu, Oseltamivir phosphate, is radioactive. It's radioactive medicine, and I think it's given us radiation brain. And I think that's why these kids are trying to want to commit suicide and jump out of windows because uh, they're hallucinating and it's affecting their brains. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. I think Tamiflu is uh, radioactive because it comes from rock phosphate eventually. That's where it came from originally, containing the uranium, polonium. The only way to find out is Tamiflu is uh, only from prescription and Thank uh, goodness that I haven't had the flu and haven't wound up in the hospital and they're giving me Tamiflu. But I would be really curious to put that Tamiflu to the test of a Geiger counter and see. It's the only way to truly find out how radioactive it is. So what do you think? Do you think this Tamiflu is radioactive? It's got me thinking. And if it is, can it really be safe? If we're giving us uh, radioactive uh, medicines, 